All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeen. Welcome to today's final blog. Here to give you my last scout report, and I'm gonna go to the defensive end position and Nate Orchard coming out of Utah. Now he's coming off a fantastic um, senior season. But let's talk a little bit about him. He's actually from Salt Lake City, Utah. Decided to stay in state, and he was actually a high school wide receiver, but then decided to go defense when he joined Utah. Now, for his first freshman year, he had a little bit of playing time, but he didn't really get to start and not at left defensive end until his sophomore season full-time. He had nine and a half tackles for loss, three sacks, and three forced fumbles, getting honorable mention of the Pac-12 Conference. And in 2013, he had nine, ta nine tackles for loss and three and a half sacks, pretty much the same stats that he had as a sophomore. And in his senior season, he was an All-American, the Ted Hendricks Award winner given to the nation's top defensive end and the Morris Trophy winner, and he was a first-team All-American and first-team All-Pac-12 performer. Av I'm having 21 tackles for loss and second in the nation with 18 and a half sacks. Great numbers, and that definitely rides his draft status entering this year's NFL draft. And let's talk about his strength and weaknesses. First, his strength. He has good, quick, a quick first step coming off the line of scrimmage and great long strides of, of acceleration. Also, he has a natural, a natural bend to go around the edge of, to get to the quarterback and great closing speed to finish off a sack. Also, he is a defensive leader and with an excellent physical and mental toughness. That you, that's what something you do want on that defensive side. Great men, mental and physical toughness to play football. I think this is a good player. Now, he does have some weaknesses, though. He lacks the muscle definition that you want. He does have good size at 6'3", 250 pounds. Apparently, possibly, he could probably bulk up a little bit, but mainly have more definition. Also, he needs to load up more ammo in his punches when using his hands to punch off the uh, the offensive tackles or his opposing player against him. And lastly, he's not too much experience in dropping back into coverage, which is a little bit of concern for me. That's why I don't really have him going in the outside linebacker position. I see him more as a defensive end at the next level. Now, my projection for this year, I have him as a mid-second round pick of this year's draft. Now that wraps things up for today. The next time I'm going to catch you guys will be on Sunday morning with more scouting reports. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.